Hey everyone. Hey guys. Jeff and Melissa in the back seat. Hey guys. There's Chelsea. Okay, um, this is really gonna be a quick one. Sorry to, to just throw this at you, but we've been driving all day and working on the schedule, trying to get things done. And uh, we spent the day again up in Orlando working on some horses. We had a great time. Uh, mostly, <laughs> there she is. <laughs> um, there, you can get all three of us. Um, but basically we did um, uh, another dozen or 15 horses uh, and the personalities are just amazing. We had one horse that um, was impossible to catch, always is, won't get caught as long as I'm anywhere on the barn's premises. And that happens sometimes and, and that's okay, it's no big deal. But um, let's see, um, once caught, the horse is perfect. And we call that a choleric, melancholy type horse. He's very business-like. He wanted to make sure that we knew exactly what we were doing, we were confident, and we got the job done. And, and compared to another horse that was done in the barn yesterday that was just all over the place, uh, good reader of energy, everything had to be perfect. Um, and if it wasn't, uh, the horse just wasn't going to behave. It's kind of weird. Uh, but the personalities are everything in the horse and reading them. And um, that's the biggest exercise that we have with um, Chelsea today was to uh, look at the personalities, get our hands in, get comfortable. We didn't have very many s interesting things, did we? No, we had a couple old horses today. Uh, special things that go on with old horses. But that was about it. Nothing too special today. Yeah. Did you see anything? I think it was pretty run in the mill. So it was pretty much run of the mill day. I think Melissa's uh, thoughts about the older horses. Uh, we have three groups of ho horses. Uh, first are the youngsters, and the second are the geriatrics, and the third is everybody else, basically. Uh, you have old horse teeth, which is the first bottom cheek teeth that start to uh, change their shape uh, because of the way their tooth wears over time. Uh, they can be very difficult to get in and get all the edges done. Uh, what else? Central uh, necrosis, loose teeth, central missing teeth. Oh, oh, and then... We had a really cool one. We had flabby tongue. Ah, uh, yeah. And if you guys really know anything about us, we talk about flabby cheeks all the time. But um, today we have flabby tongue, which means as we stick our hand in, there's a fold of tongue, uh, soft tissue in the very back that lays over, drapes over the back cheek tooth. So as it is rubbing back and forth, it polishes those back teeth into a razor sharp edge. We like to call flabby tongue, not every horse has it, but when they do, they're very difficult to get the back teeth. And uh, I think that, uh, Chelsea, was one of the most interesting cases yeah. today because nobody talks about how important the tongue is. And we like to make sure that um, the tongue is safe, it has a safe spot to rest, um, to be, um, when you put a bit in the mouth and put, um, a nose band on, uh, you're really decreasing the space and, and that the tongue can move around it. And the t tongue has to be safe to move around the inside the oral cavity. So uh, that flabby tongue thing was really important. We've got more on that at the website. If you want to look it up, uh, my um, thehorsesadvocate.com. Uh, we <laughs> Bumpy Road, uh, thehorsesadvocate.com. Uh, just sign in, become a member. There's a whole dentistry thing in there, and there's something about flabby cheeks there. Or you can go to horsemanshipdentistry.com and go to frequently asked questions, and I have something about the tongue, how important the tongue is in there. Anyway, we've been driving all day, working hard, left at like 5.30 this morning, some of us, and it's about 5, 6 o'clock right now. It'll be 6.30 when Melissa gets home. So. A long day, so we're just going to make it short. And uh, everybody say goodbye. Bye, guys. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.